And I want to ask you this because I do talk about coping skills. A lot of us know, don't learn coping skills early on. Well, easily drugs are easily available, alcohol, cigarettes, TV, Twitter, social media. We numb ourselves incorrectly Mm -hmm. because we don't have coping skills so when stuff happens to you now like triggers like i just quit smoking so i'm like i gotta learn a new coping skill instead of like when i hear bad news go get a cigarette sure so it's a tough one it's it is so where um because i like to share this with my audience they go oh maybe i can use that coping skill where do you go now when you feel triggered or upset to deal with those emotions so i mean i have a uh you know Discipline for me is is at the cornerstone of, of my whole structure. Discipline and and routine. Um, so I have a, uh, a a serious meditation practice Good that uh, that I that I you know I wake up every morning uh, with it and and throughout the day I will turn to it if uh, if if I feel it's necessary. That's that's a biggie that Huge. I've been doing for for years. Um, exercising is another one. Um, of course, uh, writing and being creative, uh, would be the third. Uh, and the, and this is kind of like a, a sort of structure that I've built over years and that carried me through my most difficult times and, and that I I continue to, to build on. That's so important. Everything that you just said. I mean, that's everything that I read about in spiritual books about, you know, raising your vibration. It's, you know, meditating, making an intention throughout the day. Right. And then being awake enough and mindful. So if two things do happen, don't fall down the rabbit hole. That's right. Because you're at a different vibration to handle those things. And and, and the routine is, is, I think, what kind of solidifies everything. 